Now, what up, people? Um, welcome back. Um, basically, you know, this is the second part of to my my Sega discussion. And um, first and foremost, I'd like to give a shout out to my friend Sniper Master Six Five Four for basically posting that comment that he did on the first part of it. Basically saying, yeah, he does he does miss uh, Sega being in the Council Wars. You know, he, he remembers, remembers his first Council being the Genesis or the, the Mega Drive, wherever wherever you are in the world. Um, he also, you know, he remembers the first Sonic game saying that was the best Sonic game ever. And in my book, you know, he's right. In my opinion, yeah, he's right. You know, there was there's really no game, no Sonic game out that can really touch that because that that is a classic and like I said I'm a fan of the classics um he also went on to say basically you know you know Sega's sticking to their strong their strong suit now they're basically making the games you know and and you know let let Microsoft and Sony and and Nintendo worry about you know the consoles and that's basically what I'm here to talk about for this part this last part of, is basically you know the the games you know we all remember classic Sega games you know but now that we're seeing like a lot of these uh, a lot of companies like Capcom and things like that remaking classic games they in the, that were in their libraries you know Capcom for example Capcom's bringing back uh, uh, the Bionic Commando, you know, what a great game that was. Um, check out the demo for all those who have it. It's out. Demo's great. Um, we got a new, basically, there's a new version of Splatterhouse coming out. Um, you know, there's a, a new version of Ready to Rumble. Um, and but, but more importantly, Sega is right, right in the mix. You know, Sega's right there. You know, doing their thing. You know, I mean, we've seen them bring back uh, Golden Axe, um, House of the Dead's back out. There's plenty of classic Sega games that we remember. But other than that, you know, I, I just want everybody also to, I want everybody to introduce everybody to my co-star who, you know, I've always said, I said there's going to be a co-star and, and that's my, my little brother. You know, he goes by the name of Hulkling93, check out his page, his channel. Um, but everybody, everybody can just call him Malcolm. So I like everybody to meet my bro, my little bro. What's up, everybody? You know, so basically, you know, we're here. We so on this part, we're just gonna talk about basically the games. You know, basically what games now we would love to see remade, revised, and for the next gen systems. You know, now hands down, to me would have to be. Um, I'm a I said it before and I'll say it again. Streets of Rage. I would love to see them bring back a new version of Streets of Rage. Um, uh, it was just a great game. The music was great. Uh, uh, the, 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 the music was done by... Uh, um, hold on. I remember his name. Let me just... Let me remember. Uh, the... The music for Streets of Rage was dang. I forgot this guy's name. I hold on. Let me let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Uh, music was done by oh, there we go. Um, now I remember. Kojira son, uh, Yuzo Kojira Kojira. He done the music, and it was just the music for Streets of Rage was great. Um, you know, um. There are just so many classic games that Sega could probably make back. Because, you know, sometimes you always got to go back to basics and bring back the games that we all loved as gamers. You know, as we, as gamers, you know, we do want to see games like, um, as we see, you know, these flight simulation games, you know, like uh, uh, the new um, Tom Clancy Hawks and Ace Combat and stuff like that. Sega had something like that. Sega had Afterburner. Who doesn't remember Afterburner? I could see them bringing back a next gen of that. Uh, oh man, um, so many. Um, as for 
you know, car games, you know, race race simulation. We we can, you know, they've done Daytona, but probably bring that back or even um, hang on. And and also in my eyes, Sega, please, please finish finish this uh, finish Shenmue for all my Shenmue fans out there. I'm not. I know I'm not the only one that wants Rio back and to get revenge against Landy. You know they gotta finish that up. So so to you, Suzuki-san, please finish it, please. Um, and of course you know they got the Sonic games. You know and Virtual Fighter franchise is still running wild. But you know. Like I said, me and my brother, we're going to touch on a couple of games, you know. In his eyes, you know, he has a couple few that he wants to talk about as well. So, so you know, let me give it up to him to talk about some stuff as well. So, Mal, like, Mal, yo, what would be some games, like, you would like to see them bring back? If there was a game that had to be brought back from Sega, one of them had to be Ultra Beast. I recall they remade a version of it that only came out in Japan. But another game that came out during the 90s era for Sega for Virtual Cop, which they made a third one. Once again, Sega then put it out for the consoles, but they said it was the best one ever. I would like if they ever remade one to be competition for at least Time Crisis, at least bring back the first one of the shooter games. And last, a great game for Sega. Is Comic Zone that was they say it was ahead of its time, but since how comic book errors are so big at this time, it'd be great for the next gen, especially the graphics wise. So, for all those people that were listening, thank you for your time and peace. There's my little brother, everybody. You know, um, like I said, check his channel out. He, you know, but when it comes to when we get you're gonna see him around a couple of more than. But this is his first uh, time. Um, but like, like he said, like, like Virtual Cop. Uh, come on, who who doesn't remember that? Uh, Comic Zone, you know, was a great game. You know, um, for my, for all those fellow people who love RPGs. I mean, of course they keep bringing back Fantasy Star, but Shining Force would probably be another good remake. If I'm, I'm I may be wrong about some things. You know, they probably did bring back, but a better version of it. Um, as for those who are into, you know, who loves ninja games, you know, hence, you know, you know, Rio from, uh, from, uh, from, uh, Ninja, the Ninja Gaiden series, and now we got this guy Ken from the Ninja Blade, from the Ninja Blade game, but you can't always, you can't just forget about the other ninja, the ninja in Shinobi. Oh, we all remember Shinobi, Shadow Dancer, whatever you want to call it. They could probably remake that game again because the last remake was for the PS2. And that was, in my eyes, that was very hard. That was a hard game. You know, I, I, and I'm not afraid to say I did not beat that game. That game was very hard. Um, but there are other games, you know, like I said, Hang On. Uh, for all who are fans of uh, Space Harrier. Hey, maybe, maybe that, you know, but it's also, you know, Sega, you know, like I said, sometimes, you know, these companies need to go back to basics. Remember what brought them to the dance, you know, what brought them into the eyes of us as fellow gamers, you know, it, it would make a lot of sense for them to remake. I mean, there are some games that, are, you know, they, they, they make it out for the consoles now, but that, but they're just, you know, you know they're not they're not like classic from their vault, but they are games that I mean there are a couple of games that are coming out now. You know that uh that Sega produced or so. Um, but hell, what about um Jet Grind Radio? I mean, I would love to see them bring back out that game. Uh, you know that was another game ahead of its time. That game was all about what almost graffiti, and <laughs> that's against the law. But it, it was cool. Like I said, but there's so many, so many games, everybody, we all, we know, there are just so many games that could be brought out that, you know, Sega could, you know, throw out there, you know, but, um, 
other than that, you know, and this is just going out to every gamer out there, you know, we all love Sega. If you don't, you know, hey, you know, I'm not mad at you. You know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But in my opinion, as me being a loyal Sega fan, you know, Sega, just just keep doing your thing, man. Just keep, don't forget the basics. Don't forget, basically, what brought you to the dance, like I said before. Don't forget, don't forget, like, you know, the games that basically kept you afloat, you know, and just, just keep doing your thing, don't, and I'm going to keep buying your games, you know, and um, other than that, people, you know, i just like to say peace, you know, stay tuned as always, later.